Hey guys, what's going on? Um, Andre here, just trying to uh, make another video on this whole debate that we're having where people are saying that OBS uses far less resources than XSplit and vice versa and things like that. And before I used a capture card, I captured my Xbox One using the Magewell um, capture device. Right now, I'm going to basically show on an average computer, which is a i7-4790. Um, what I'll do is I'll uh, pull up DX Diag right now for you guys, and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Um, in fact, let's go to that scene now. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's add this, and let's go to this scene. All right, so all right, so as you guys can see in my DX Diag, I am using a 4790K at four gigahertz. Well, it's at four, so it's around four. So basically, if I check my um my task manager and my performance right now, I'm at 4.3 and things like that, it, it tends to go up to that high because I have it on the power setting. So as you guys can see, it is sitting at 14% for utilization and things like that. What we are going to do today is we're going to look and see what the individual usage of each program is. So this one here is OBS Studio. Uh, this here is OBS Studio. In fact, let's do this. This here is OBS Studio. This here is the old classic OBS. And this, of course, is XSplit. But mind you that when XSplit starts streaming, it launches another program called VH Multi. Multi capture or something along the lines of that. All right. So that's pretty much it. I set the settings for each one of these pretty much all the same. Um, they're all basically the same. So if I go to encoding, it's doing 3500 um, CBR with 160 audio bit rate going to Twitch, which is going to be going to the New York server. I mean, that shouldn't even matter. I set the base resolution to 1280 by 720 and it's going to send out, it's not going to scale it at all. Um, for the advance, we're going to see that we're using the very fast preset with high encoding. Two keyframes, you know, basically the usual that we would normally set. Okay, so that was for that. Now we're going to go into OBS Studio. We're going to be going to the New York server. Um, streaming X264. CBR 3500, two keyframes. Audio is set to 160. And if we go to advance, there's nothing really much to change here. But, you know. It's whatever. Um, there's nothing really much to really change here. It's just whatever. But um, for the output, it's basically sending 3500. Very fast, high profile, much like we have here. Um, in XSplit, we're going to have pretty much the same situation. We're going to be streaming to my Bifuteki test channel. So all you guys know I have a channel that's called Beefy Techie Test, so now I have to test on another channel because now you guys are all going to go there every single time when I'm testing something. So again, we're streaming to the New York New York server, um, streaming at a very fast preset, 3500, and the profile is high no matter what, so I don't need to set it. Um, 160 audio bitrate, the FPS is... And video size is the same as the default stage. The default stage is set to 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second. So that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do here is we are going to see if we can actually do this. Hold on. I got to unplug the control and plug it back in. Let's try this again. It's like weird. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to go to training, and we are going to uh, try this out. Okay, so we're going to go to my favorite stage, and we're going to pick Rashid, and we're going to push Rashid up against Fang. 
All right. So what we're going to basically see here is I'm going to basically do the same routine while this is streaming. And what we're going to do is we're going to monitor the CPU usage. Okay. So what's going to happen here is we're going to move all of these over. And we're going to leave this here. Right. So first up, we're going to do OBS Classic. Okay. Because this is the one everyone swears uses less CPU. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Start Stream. Okay. And as we can see, that this is it right here. Okay. We're, we're going to click CPU usage and we're going to see, okay, it's sitting at 9, 10% right now. Okay. 9, 10%. So let's say it's sitting at 10%. We'll restart battle. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll go into my little gimmick that I like to do. Eh, I did it wrong. All right. So let's take a look at where it's going to peak. Ah. From here. I keep messing this up. Here. All right. So right now it's touching 20, 19.5, 18%. Okay. So. You know, so like just just streaming, just doing this, it's already at 19%. 19, 19, 5, 19, 7, 20, and things like that. So, so far, so good. Okay? So we're going to, we're going to stop streaming with this. We're going to minimize that. Okay? We're going to go to OBS Studio now. Okay? OBS Studio, which is basically their latest and greatest, is kind of the one that they want everyone to start using now. Um, let, let's see how well this handles, um, streaming. Okay. So we're going to be looking at, cause I already started the stream. So we're going to be looking at this one. Okay. So right now it's already sitting dormant at 15%. Okay. Let's just reset it. So I'll do this. Ah, I messed that up. All right, so we're already at mm, 23, 24. We're, we're at 24%, okay? That, that's higher than, you know, OBS Classic. I'm way higher than OBS Classic. And let's see, 24, hmm, look at that, 24% this time. So as time goes on, it starts to get higher. Twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-seven. Wow, got up to twenty-seven percent. Okay, so that that's pr pretty high, if you ask me. All right, so let, let's stop, minimize. Okay, in fact, just just to say, just to show that you guys that I ain't cheating. Let, let let's do this. Okay. Now, remember when I said exploit, when it exploit streams, it starts up a new process called VH multi viewer. All right, so let's go here. Let's go to Bifuteki test. Where are you? There you are. So we're at Bifuteki test. Okay. Now, remember I said it starts up this new program called VH multi. Yeah, here it is VH multi writer extension. So it's sitting dormant at 10%. All right. So we'll go into this. Oh, I messed that up. But it's not going higher than 20. It's not going higher than 20 and I keep dropping it, but let me let me get this. Ah, I fucked up. I'm messing. I'm keep messing this up. Hold on. <sighs> Here, let's try this one more time. Okay. Like, okay, so you see 16. You don't ever see VH 
multi rider extension go over 20 percent so you don't see it touch 20 percent at all like i haven't seen it hit 20 percent because even if you add in the exploit broadcaster process that's going on right now it if you add all of that up it's still not getting to 20 okay Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. And then there we go. Look at that. 15, 15, 16, 17. 17 is the highest it gets. And while it was at 17, I was only seeing 1.3. So let's say it doesn't surpass 19% of CPU usage. Okay? So where, where's, where's my exploit? Here we go. Exploit. We'll stop this, okay? We'll we'll start this one up again. Look, I'll minimize this. We'll start this. Just just to make y'all feel better. Remember, this is this is OBS Studio right here. OBS Studio right here. Okay? As you guys can see, these are the only programs I have open. Steam's open. Let's get this out of here. Nope, don't want to run sets with you right now. I'm doing a video. I got Chrome open. Let's close Chrome. Okay? Let's close Chrome completely. Oh, look, did it itself. All right. So, oh, no, it keeps reopening, but whatever. Okay, so OBS Studio 14, 12, 14, 15%. 15%. All right, so let's go. Okay, 19%. Didn't even do the whole combo. Didn't even do the whole combo. But we we at twenty. But we're at twenty percent. Solid twenty. Solid twenty percent, guys. Solid twenty. Twenty two. Twenty three. Twenty five. Twenty four point five percent. Twenty four point five percent. Like, so for the people out there that says, hey, OBS Studio doesn't use that much resources, you can basically say, hey, look, check out this video that Bifu Techie made. He, he, he basically breaks it down. He breaks it down and lets you know, like, hey, look at how much usage this is doing. So ju just for you guys, I'm going to do this, okay? <laughs> Just, just for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna. I can't really show that one. I'm not gonna do Team Spooky. Let's see. I have another test channel that I could use. Let's see. Is this one set up? Nope. Hold on. my other test channel okay we'll do 3500 just, just so you guys can see see I could take this out I could take this out because it's automatically it's already set to high it's already set to high so with data okay there we go okay it's already set to high. All right, so what we'll do is we'll do this. We'll we'll send the stream over to Don't Hey Dre, same bit rate and everything. Let's do a comparison and see what's on top. Okay, wait. Let's do a comparison. Let's see what's on top. I mean, did this even start? Nope, it didn't. I guess because it's probably... Nope, it shouldn't be looking for a server. Hold on. 3,500. Okay. And I did this damn thing perfectly that time. Let's go back. All right. So now, let's see what's going to sit up at top. 
Okay. What's sitting up at the top? What, what's at the top, guys? Do the math. See, so yeah, as you guys can see, like, you guys, you guys should know math. Unless you like someone I, who I know who doesn't like to do math, but. That to me looks like exploit is still underneath by a large margin. If you ask me. Either way, um, that's pretty much it. That's it for this demonstration. I'm done. Someone suggested that I should do a PC game, capture the PC game, and show the difference between the two of them, and, or the three of them, and this, that, and the other. Here it is. I've done that. I've shown you guys the difference. You guys can see the difference. So let this video be what decides which one uses less CPU or not. Like, yes, you do have to pay for exploit and things like that, but for someone to sit there and say that, oh, exploit uses too much resources, that's the reason why I use OBS plus it's free, stop that. The simple fact that people sit there and say, oh, I can make as many, I can sit there and make as many scenes as I want, like, see this plus button? Like, it doesn't matter. See this plus button? I can sit here, I can hit it over and over and over, and I can continue to do it over and over and over and over and wait, hold on. Look, look at this. Hold on, wait a minute. It continues to go. It just keeps flowing. Did I stop this one? Yeah, I did stop. Stop it. Like, look, 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 look. It just keeps going. Because remember, it was limited to 12 before. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, wait, hold on. I just picked 28. Hold on, I picked 33. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know a streamer who would need this many scenes. How many of you need this many scenes? How many of you need... 50 scenes. Hold on. We're going to go up to 50. We're going to go to 50. Okay? 50. Look at that. 50. Hold on. Look at the CPU usage. Still at 1.1. Just with those scenes. So, next time someone tells you, yo, Xbox uses way too many resources, just, just go to OBS. Tell them, eat a dick. I'm going to check out o I'm going to check out Xsplit. Beef who says it's worth it. Xsplit is a great fucking... Is, let, let, let me clean up my language. Exploit is a great program. It's a great program. It uses way less CPU and things like that. Like, you won't have any issues just using it. All right, guys? So, for, with that being said, I'd like to say thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Hopefully, this clears up any confusion that some people might have had about my previous video. But, um, yeah. And while you're watching this video, why don't you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you do like these types of videos that I'm doing here where I explain certain things about different streaming programs and whatnot and how much CPU it uses and whatnot. So if you're down for that, just let me know. You know, and again, hit the subscribe button. There should be a button somewhere on the screen that says subscribe. All right. Peace out, guys.